Hello, hello. Hello, we are group four with four member uh, Quốc Khải, uh, Phạm Ngọc Hà Bi, Hồng Ngọc Hiếu Châu Anh Nhi, Nguyễn Diệu Trang. And today we're going to present to you guys the case study of Airbnb. Now let's come to our agenda today. The first thing is introduction as you are hearing. And the next thing is the journey of Airbnb. And the last thing will go come to our conclusion. Now let's jump into the current Airbnb. So as you might have already known, Airbnb is an online marketplace where people can lease and rent accommodations. This means that Airbnb doesn't own homestay or hotels itself, but instead acts as a middleman and receives a commission for its effort. Uh, now you may have and question that uh, why we chose this case study. The purpose of this case study is, um, the first thing we wanna show to you guys that the de design thinking process, it's non-linear. As you can see here, all of those stages have gone through by Airbnb. And the second thing we wanna show is that the process of design thinking could have many variants. Uh, this means that some stages would be blurred or blended together. Uh, now let's go into the journey of Airbnb. Okay, so now we'll get into the first idea of the two founders, starting with the accept and understand stage. Um, the initial problem of the two founders were their high housing renting fee, and they were on the verge of losing their place while having no job. Um, they got, this was due to the housing bubble phenomena in the 2000s years. So the two founders, who are Jeski and Gebia, realized that um, they had to make some money with their rental house and some air mattresses. The reason was that um, at the same time, there was a monetary problem of the hotel market. At the same time, in the year 2007, uh, there was a World Congress held by um, the Industrial Design Nurse Societies of America, which is the IDSA, that drew thousands of designers to San Francisco. So as industrial designers from the Rhode Island School of Design, the two founders knew how the conference would affect the town by making the hotel market become saturated. So there must likely be other options for the conference participants. At this stage of emphasis, Jeski and Gebia targeted designers who were desperate to go to the conference, so as could easily accept any living conditions. They even realized two more pain points of their potential users, which are the cost and the chance for networking. The participants would prefer the lowest cost possible, and it would be fancy to them if they could be in a house where all tenants are also designers since making connections um, was also their purpose of coming to the conference. After at this stage, let's come to the idea and prototype phase. So Chesky and Gebia then came up with uh, an idea. After understanding that um, they could monetize their rental house um, by offering places for designers who needed accommodation after the conference, they created a website called Airbed and Breakfast. This could be seen as their first prototype, even though the two founders did not um, intend to make this model seriously. And as you can see, this is the interface of the first ever version of um, nowadays Airbnb, which was then called airbedandbreakfast.com. So after the first idea, uh, let's study how uh, Chesky and Gabia carried out their second prototype. So let's now move to our second idea of Airbnb. So the founders thought um, the original idea was too weird because they believed that nobody could rent their houses to strangers. So they thought of uh, something new. However, before actually uh, start the second official idea, they have another prototype, but it's never been launched. Um, initially, they wanted to create a um, like a platform for connecting roommates that they found out that the idea has been uh, implemented by Arthur, so they have to start on over again. So this is one of their failed prototypes, which drove them back to um, the draw to the drawing board to the very first step. 
which are understanding and um, observe. So in this, so in this stage, they have two users. The first one is the host. Um, let's take a look at the background here. So Airbnb started its business in 2007, which is amid the great recession in the US and the world economy. Um, one fact that we must be acknowledged from um, this event is that the housing bubble, um, this is occur both in US and in other developed countries. So this has led many, uh, let many people um, being unable to sell their houses favorably, yet the usual long-term rental op options uh, could not be too profitable due to the financial inability um, of the tenant, of course. So, uh, so this means that the landlords or the house had a clear incentive to rent their properties during this during the short-term interval. This is one of the ways they can monetizing their properties. And even for normal people, the incentive to monetize a part of their property was high and they were in, like, impacted by the financial crisis. So in the case of Airbnb founder, they were themselves the tenants who like, suffered due to the higher rent. And Airbnb are originated from an idea to afford their rents. In other words, they look at this problem at the insider house um, and also as the Airbnb founders and for the users too, which are the guests. So the Great Recession has also come from the purchasing power of the ordinary people, meaning that they could no longer afford more expensive lodging op option. Instead, more affordable options were prioritized. However, these alternative options uh, could not always fulfill the market needs. But we have to understand the feeling here is that um, they are be more willing to tolerate the new and the cheaper option. So with millennial founders like Chesky and and Gabia, the idea has also intended for adventurous life. And uh, um, an Airbnb then were designed to fit the emerging generational circumstances and idea. And so in the idea stage, uh, after learning on, on of that, the two founders had defined the model for their business, which is a website where booking a room in someone's home could be as easy as booking a hotel. Uh, moving on to the prototype part, they launched their website again, targeting the Democratic Na National Convention 2008 in Denver. This is another event that could make the market saturated. Yet the co-founder had realized um, one problem that is the network effect, which is mean that they could not attract the host without attracting the guests, and they could not attract the guests without having the host. So a solution would be no good if it didn't reach its user. So this drove them to think about the problem again, to solve the like new newly emerging problem. So the founder understood that um, the political news may, media needed a breaking news. So um, and they think that their business could be the one. They also knew that the media in echo chamber, like the past knew that other channels has already passed. So as the result, they pitched the idea to the small block, seeing only the small block. Um, could possibly are more likely to pass about them. So after the few small blog wrote about their uh, airbedandbreakfast.com, the domino e effect started. They were even on local newspaper like Denver Post and later it's, um, like it's es escalated into the national scale. They're being covered by political in the New York um, Daily News, the New York Times and, and other newspaper. So the campaign has successfully uh, brought them 800 people listed their rooms and 80 guests booked. So now we will move to the final stage of Airbnb. Yeah, success was pretty success was pretty short lived for Airbnb as after the second initial successes, the second attempt, they were actually getting low traffic and were only making as much as two hundred dollars a week, which was not very sustainable for a business. So once again, they pulled out their design thinking caps. And they decided to come up with a very uh, with a solution that was very design thinking. Now, the first they must try to understand and observe, which uh, as as um, a trait as a hallmark of design thinking, they decided to go user centric and went door to door interviewing their users, um, talking to people, and also they decided to look back and see how people were looking at their product, how people were finding their product. And so they came up with, so after these interviews and they themselves trying to experience what their users feel, um, 
out of this design thinking, they came up with three main insights. The first insight, um, the first insight is that people had trouble um, pricing. People had trouble um, pricing their properties. Um, and the and the second um problem would be that the ads themselves were, the ads themselves were pretty bad. They were often low quality, and the photos were often relevant to what guests were trying to look for. And third, it was a problem of trust. Um, when people when people want to when people two strangers want to um uh, stay at each other's house, of course it will feel a little bit strange and weird. So with these three problems in mind. They decided to start time. It was time to start the ideation phase. Now, what well, what they what the ideas came out was that to solve the trust problem, they decided to create a sort of peer review system where, like, um, on their website, where the guests and hosts could post more about what they look for when doing business with each other. With the photo problem, they real after looking at the ads themselves, uh, they realized that. Guests deserve better when looking at Airbnb. So they decided to go take the photo. They decided to borrow cameras and take the photos themselves. They went after talking. They went there and stay. They took the photos of the properties. Now, with those ideas, they decided to go to their first prototype. Uh, as you can remember in their second, um, their second launch, their second attempt, they've already tried the micro-targeting approach and the press tactics. And with their new innovations in mind, they, they, decided to refine their approach and launch the website known as crashtheinauguration.com during Barack Obama's inauguration. And with their experience, um, ability to get to their their users and their, uh, their solutions to address the problems that they found, success came and the prototype works. You can see that the prototype has attracted several of these residents to list their space. And uh, with 150 bookings. Of course, uh, feedback is always important in the design thinking process. And we can see here that uh, David Rosenblatt uh, offered them a very valuable feedback on how the breakfast part does not always need to be uh, necessary for Airbnb success. So with that feedback in mind, we can go to see the, fun, the nearly the final form of the product of Airbnb. Uh, as you can see here, they they took the feedback to heart and eliminated the breakfast requirement and allowed the option to rent an entire residence. And the final step was just to change the name to reflect who they were after design thinking. Airbnb and breakfast became Airbnb. And as you can see here, the most salient um, result is that you can see that the income doubled from $200 to a whopping $400. And their success would just snowball from there. So what can we learn from all these three steps of uh, um, Airbnb? So as you guys can see before, that Airbnb has gone through many, many stages with countless uh, prototypes. This uh, teach our, uh, this teaches a, uh, two lessons that the first thing design thinking process is non-linear we have gone through many stages and sometimes we have come back to the drop in board to learn everything again and the second thing is that sometimes you can see uh, airbnb did not do all of the stages of airbnb instead uh, of design thinking instead they blurred and they blend all of that together to really get to like improve their products and uh, uh, we uh, the last thing we want to say is that uh, now we are coming to the last stage of this course, the last stage of design system thinking course, and we hope that we can apply all of this and have a very beautiful and happy journey with this course. Thank you, guys, for listening to us.